What's going on guys? It's your boy Adoptionism here, hitting you guys up with that number 9 video starting from the right that we did uh, here. This is the other core starter class called the Archer. Uh, this one is actually really great for DPS. I mean the Hunter I know actually you can get godly DPS, but after understanding the abilities of one of the Archer, I think the Archer might actually be able to pump out even more especially towards a uh, boss character so that's really good so yeah let's jump into this now I have a really good bow anyway and I've already uh, uh, promoted my uh, hunter one so my cunning's up pretty high what we're uh, gonna start off here with uh, I mean evasion is, is a nice tree to get down towards some of the passives but this tree is really all about marksmen uh, what you want to do is you get first blood of course obviously um, ones that are unaware like as soon as you go into a new area just bam smack them to 15% extra damage to them I mean it's just it's ridiculous and then if they're even lightly injured as long as they're yeah if they're above 80% health you still do 15% but that's the first passive you just got to deal with it uh, long shot is going to be one of the big ones especially uh, if we upgrade it so that way it actually does bonus damage for each target that it hits uh, I believe I'm not too sure. I mean, it doesn't actually say how much damage it does. But when you're at 15 meters, which is, I want to say, mid, I want to say from the middle of a room to the end, and most basic room sizes, I don't fucking know. But, yeah, I mean, you get them lined up, especially get doing doorway traps, and you got good dudes holding them at the door, and you just line it up right, bam, you just get that Call of Duty collateral. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah another good one is leaping shot of course you launch 12 projectiles 50% uh, weapon damage which is still nice and then of course if you like level it up you end up uh, doing 250% weapon damage and you also knock back the, the people that it hits so that's pretty cool but uh, that's neither here nor there uh, with all of this uh, being said we want to go down our marksman tree we want to get full draw of course, like all the other ones, you don't worry about getting stunning shot. It's fucking pointless. Uh, but yeah, you get full draw and you get mark of death. And of course, you might as well upgrade it. That way uh, um, you reduce their armor so they actually take even more damage. And what this does, I didn't really realize this. It kind of took me a minute to actually catch a boat. You mark an enemy and every hit on them adds to part of its power. Alright, so damage store or store damage is 100%. So pretty much... Uh, it lasts 8 seconds, okay? Now, this is where it gets difficult because it only lasts 8 seconds, so you have to keep, you have to realize how many hits you do to that so that way you can trigger it before the mark actually triggers itself. Because if you do it like it says, you can manually trigger the mark early for bonus damage. So what I would do is, um, what you, you gotta make sure that you hit him with mark of death and then... What you can do is you can full draw, which takes about, I want to say, three seconds. Yeah, full draw takes about three seconds to do. So that's already 1,600% damage right there. And then you hit them with, uh, if you're at a distance, you hit them with either long shot or leaping shot. I'm probably, I'm probably going to say leaping shot. Leaping shot probably takes about another three seconds. And then as soon as leaping shot is done, that's when you sit there and you activate mark of death. And it... Like so, you already do all that damage to it, so its health is already starting to go down, and then Mark of Death is just sitting there holding on to even more damage. And then the moment that you trigger it, it does all that damage all at once. So that's just insane. Like it, it, it won't even be a critical hit. It's just you'll have a godly amount of damage that they get hit with. So that's where Mark of Death is actually probably makes the archer better than the hunter. And yeah, sadly, I thought the uh, the hunter was a little more badass. But, you know, it's all good. Uh, do, 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 do. When an ally critical hits, lowers the cooldown. But the cooldown is 32 seconds. Um, I'm getting destiny invites. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got uh, strafing shots. Uh, again, I mean, that that's just... You, you just want to go straight down this tree. Concentrate on getting your full draw and your mark of death. And then worry about all these uh, damage passives that are really good. Pink cushion is really great. Again, like I said, from the Hunter, Death from Above is completely situational, so it's not always guaranteed. Uh, don't really care about that one. And most of the time, you're not flanking enemies, so that's kind of a waste. So, 
Yeah, all right, let's get over to this one. And I think literally when uh, my idea, I think I was just going to do Fury of the Storm because this is speed reduction, critical hit chance, like nah, not, not really uh, too much of a big fan of any of this stuff. So, yeah, we're going to say that this is that this is the only one that I'm going to do right here is Fury of the Storm. So that gets us level 2, level 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I think that's actually about the same spot that we were at on, uh, on the Hunter. Huh pretty cool all right so that that's 16 so I guess um we, we have four left uh, I guess we could go take back a look over here so if we did 17 18 uh, well, I don't know hold up the rotation we got leaping shot long shot mark of death and full draw so our rotations already taken up by all of those so uh, I guess actually right there, look like it hurt would actually be really good because whenever you score critical hit, you regen man or stamina, so that way you can actually uh, get your get your shots out. So that's actually really nice. Or actually, you know what? No, fuck that. No, you get dance of death. You actually get a kill, which is actually fairly easy being an archer because you do so much damage. Uh, you'll instantly restore 50 mana. Or why why do I keep saying mana? Stamina. My bad. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess you could go one, two, three, for that, and then you just get this. The uh, and I don't know because we don't even have explosive shot in our rotation. So yeah, that's that's what I think you would do. Yeah, for the rotation, you got long shot upgraded, you got leaping shot upgraded, uh, mark of mark of death and mark of doom upgraded, and full draw. Uh, so actually. Instead of doing long shot, I mean long shot's literally just for when you're doing doorway traps. So actually, what I would suggest is uh, you do mark of death. You lead with full draw, since that way you might get hit, and then you hit leaping shot for that extra amount of damage, and then trigger it, and that should give you the biggest shit ton of damage, even at like level 15 or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, guys, that's my opinion. You go straight down. Don't worry about death from above unless you got extra points, which I think we do at the end of this build. Uh, so, again, that's just a situational passive. Uh, if anything, uh, when an ally critical hits, I believe that... Okay, no, it actually just counts for them. Actually, there we go. Yeah, we could just go off of these two right here because that gives you a definite 10%, and that also helps uh, reduce your cooldown for all of your other skills. So... Yeah, that's what I would say. So build off of that. So we got level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So yeah, that's the full build right there. Just like I showed you guys if you want to recap. But yeah, that's my opinion on uh, an archer, definitely probably a lot more godly than the hunter. Uh, definitely want to have this guy all spec'd out. I'm probably going to get a video for you guys just to show you a highlight of some ridiculous amount of damage that I do. And uh, see if any of you guys can top that. But yeah, guys, uh, this has been your boy Adopt. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adoptionism. Link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to check out my buddy Jay's stream. All of his links are down in the description as well. And, of course, don't forget to check out and stop by uh, 7 .com. Really great competitive paddle controllers. They're going to have accessories next month. And don't forget to uh, use discount code ADOPT to show me support. That way I can also help you guys out by getting you a discount on something. And, uh, yeah, guys, until next time, this has been your boy Adopt. I love you. Peace out.